Hello, hello, Becky here for Artbeads.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at Green Girl Studios pewter components. We've got some great new pendants and other items that are perfect for spring, summer, and every season between. Um, and I'll also be showing you how to use some of these pieces and some even more jewelry design inspiration from Green Girl Studios that you can find in our design studio with free instructions and a supplies list for how to make them. So let's take a look at some new Green Girl Studios. Um, I love Green Girl Studios. The, their pewter items are just so beautiful, always so whimsical um, and imaginative. They just really get my mind going and we've got some really fun ones in this launch. We've got this cute little bird. I love this. And what's cool about this is the loop is kind of hidden on the back of the bird. Um, so it's really easy to string. I think this would look really good on some braided leather, uh, beaded design for sure. It's just really wonderful. And that loop is pretty substantial if you're working with fine enough jump rings. Um, you could totally add a dangle below. That'd be cute little like fringe coming out from his tail. That'd be beautiful. I love that bird. Let's go along with the bird. We've got this wonderful lizard. Another great thing I love about Green Girl Studios is the attention to detail. The pieces are always so detailed and so beautiful. Um, it blows my mind how much detail they can pack into these tiny little guys. So I love this lizard. He is three-dimensional. Um, really great. This would just be a cute little guy to have on your desk as your little beating companion, but his tail does also double as a nice uh, connection point so you can hang him. These would be cute little earrings. <laughs> That'd be so much fun to add this guy to your earrings. Um, great little necklace pendant, little charm on a fun jangly bracelet. So really cute little lizard friend there. He's so sweet. I like him. Uh, we got a couple of butterfly options. These are really wonderful. Again, amazing detail on these. I love how the loops are incorporated. They just flow really nicely into the design. Look at those details. So beautiful. Happy little lizard. Yes, it is. And the back of these are flat. You do have a little star, which I think is a Green Girls Studio signature. <laughs> so cute. So nice and flat on the back. So they will lay really nicely um, as necklace pendants for sure. Really cute. We've got a couple fun pendants in other shapes. This one is a, oh, this one's really cool. It's a flower with an eye in the center and it's got stars. And then there's, of course, something on the back, another little hidden butterfly. So this is a really cool one. You could um, showcase either side. You could make a reversible design um, with either side of that fun pendant there. So that is a really nice design. And then this one is a nice kind of drop shape. It's got a cute little bear there. He's uh, he's roaming around in the woods and it's got a flower on the back. I have a bear story. The last time I went to uh, Glacier National Park in Montana, we saw a bear on the side of the road. He was um, not too far away. I was keeping my distance. I don't want to go near the bear. <laughs> <laughs> but you could see him uh, munching berries. So that was pretty cool to see. We saw a lot of wildlife on that trip. Uh, beautiful park, National Park, uh, Glacier National Park. So that's what this reminds me of. Yes, they put so much detail into their creations, Tina. Green Girl Studios really does uh, just have amazing detail in their pieces. And I always love the hidden little elements that they add uh, to the back of their pieces. Um, so nice little wildflower on the back of that cute bear pendant and then we've also got this cool little snake link so this would be a great like s clasp you could use it um, as a link it's a really fun piece just a fun little curvy snake snakes and jewelry is a win in my book always so love this little snake he could be a friend uh with the lizard you could kind of link these guys together a lizard and snake friend so cute <laughs> Then um, they've also got this really cool little spoon piece. So this, I would use this as a bead scoop. It's perfect um, for scooping up little beads. Isn't that cute? I think it'd be great with seed beads. These are little four millimeter crystal bicones. Pick it up perfectly. Um, I think this is a really aesthetic choice 
for um, if you like making like TikTok videos or Instagram reels. It's nice to have little cute scoops that are visually pleasing or if you just like having little cute things in your working area to inspire just you. This is a great option. And it can also be used as a jewelry component. It does not have a stringing hole, but you could certainly wire wrap uh, a nice little holder for this spoon and add it to the center. Maybe glue like a little flat back in the center. It could be a nice little uh, pendant for a crystal that you want to um, showcase. So there's all kinds of things you could do with this cute little Green Girl Studios uh, spoon, but I will be using it as a bead scoop because I think it's so cute. It looks like a little, a little gnome's spoon for dishing up all those delicious beads. <laughs> <laughs> so cute so loving this little spoon and if you ever if you get it as a as a bead scoop and find you don't use it as much hey you can repurpose it and use it as a pendant it does look like a spoon on both sides so you could totally yeah <laughs> look at that you could grab smaller amounts this would be great for teeny tiny little 15 aughts or um, this is actually a great option. Hang on, let me find uh, a tube and see if it works. We sell a lot of tubes, um, narrower tubes. That would be a great option for um, getting your beads back into the tube. Yeah, so let's say you've spilled your, yeah, a spoon for bead soup. Perfect, exactly. Uh, let's say you're working with your seed beads can use that oh it's perfect for putting your seed beads back into those smaller openings such as a tube I love that so yeah you've got some options there so this side is a little bit wider it works pretty good but this side is a really good one for getting your beads back into a tube so yeah use both sides as a scoop so cute love that yeah it is very comfortable um that's true because you kind of can grip it at the end and this makes a nice little indent to fit your thumb so it is really comfortable to grip as well so many uses for this cute little spoon i love that so that's a really fun piece the little little fairy spoon <laughs> and then uh, we have this really great pendant with this really fun design i really like the design on this one i thought it was really inspiring and then it's got that fun kind of bump dot design on the back this almost looks like a pea pod or something to me on the back so what I did for this piece was I made a kind of matching peyote stitch uh, pendant so I just did odd count peyote stitch with uh, Toho Aiko 11 aught seed beads I love working with Toho Aiko seed beads. They are so uniform, so precise. They line up beautifully um, when you're stitching with them, and then they feel really good when you're all done with them. And they are so uniform and so precise, you don't ever really run into uh, like malformed beads or broken beads, things like that. Um, so you don't have to worry about like culling out bad beads as you work or before you work. They're all pretty perfect. So it's a joy. It's always a joy to work with Toho Aiko seed beads. And I think these colors are really fun for the design going on in this uh, Green Girl Studios pennant. Yes, Beverly Ico gang. <laughs> um, and so what I did, I just did like a little few inch uh, swatch of the peyote stitch and I used end tubes to finish it off. So what's great about these end tubes is they have little flaps on the side that you can open with your chain nose pliers and then slide the end of your seed bead piece into the tube. Um, and I can show you how to do that actually. Let me see if I have an extra one here. Because someone was asking. That might be a nice standalone video too. I don't think I have an extra of that particular um, style, but I can, maybe I can show you here. So what you would do is you would use your chain nose pliers here on this little flap on the end. And uh, this is easier when there's not a piece in it, but it comes open. So you open that up a little and then you slide your piece in. And what I like to do is I will gently squeeze this shut with my pliers around the piece. You want to be gentle because you don't want to break the beads, but it does kind of help to cinch that in close to the beads for a tighter grip. <laughs> and then once you've got that in there, you would just simply fold this 
lap back down. So it's a really easy way to finish your um, pieces. And then I kind of take the top of my plier and then push back down once it's close in place. Um, and then you do that on both sides and they do have loops attached so you can easily add jump rings to that. Um, and what's cool about this pendant again is you could showcase either side. It looks really cool with just this, this uh, dotted side and it looks even cooler with this fun pattern that's on this side. So different ways to finish that up and then I just simply added it to some chain. Um, so cool. So that's a fun little way to incorporate some peyote stitch into your designs. It doesn't need glue. This is very sturdy all on its own. It's not going to go anywhere because of these side flaps. And if you pinch this down around the end of your peyote stitch, it's even stronger. So I don't think you need glue for this. You certainly can add glue if, uh, if you're worried about it, but um, I, I don't think it's necessary. Um, they, these are pretty sturdy all on their own. So really great uh, pieces to use with your peyote stitch designs. And these would be great for a longer bracelet too. You could make a full length bracelet and then um, add those to the end to add a clasp. Even this, just like this could be a cool bracelet and finish the whole thing with chain. So really great uh, end tubes there. Perfect for using with seed beads. And this finish really goes well with that Green Girl Studios. So Really fun design. I will add that to the design studio for you next week for a tutorial and a color pattern on how to make that piece. So keep your eyes out on that. Make sure to sign up for our email newsletter if you haven't already. So you're the first to know when uh, tutorials like this are out. So, and then I had some other um, design inspiration for you uh, for how we like to use Green Girl. Her pieces are so wonderful as they are because they are so detailed. You can simply just put them on a chain, add a jump ring, and you've got a beautiful piece. And because that pewter color is so versatile, you can wear it with any outfit, layer it with other jewelry. Uh, it's really great and it's really fun, um, really fun designs. So that's an easy way to incorporate your Green Girl Studios pieces into your jewelry designs. And of course they look great with, you know, a little more intricate beadwork like seed beading. Um, I showed this one off recently because I just talked about twisted tubular herringbone, but this is a, a twisted tubular herringbone piece with a little uh, Green Girl Studios charm dangling at the clasp for a fun little hidden mermaid. That's one of my favorite Green Girl Studios pieces is that little little hidden mermaid. So cute. So um, because her pieces are so detailed and so artistic, they always look really good with the more intricate beadwork that you can come up with. So whether you're going simple or detailed, the Green Girl Studios pieces are great. And of course, they work great in, you know, just simple beaded, bead stringing necklaces and bracelets as well. Um, I made this necklace with this gorgeous unicorn Green Girl Studios pendant. Um, and I kind of took inspiration from the design happening at the front of this piece to incorporate, you know, some stars in my... Uh, in my necklace body and those kind of match the stars above the unicorn and then I used like these kind of unicorn white colors and more silver to match the pendant and of course my favorite bonus of Green Girl Studios pieces uh, and it says may the may the spark of magic follow you always so really fun I love those little hidden messages that she adds to her pieces so always a fun time when designing with uh, Green Girl Studios pieces. We do have tutorials for these pieces in our design studio with instructions and a supplies list. I've got the links in the video description and make sure to shop all these new Green Girl Studios pieces that just launched this week. Uh, I've got a link to those as well. Um, let me know which one's your favorites because I have a lot of favorites in this. I gotta have this spoon. I think that's so handy. Um, love the lizard. I of course love this. I had to make a little peyote stitch design with that. So there's lots of favorites in this Green Girl Studios launch as well. So let me know your faves in the comments too. All right. I think that's everything that I have for you guys today. What fun stuff we have this week. I am so inspired. I can't wait to get beading with Green Girl Studios.
Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I hope that this video was inspiring to you and that maybe I'll use some Green Girl Studios in your upcoming jewelry designs. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.